How's that? <laughs> Josh Bixler! All right, friends, we have a lot of work to do this week. If you guys tuned in a couple weeks earlier, you saw that we built a huge, beautiful Beach 18. Now this plane built beautiful, it was a lot of fun to fly. Probably one of the best twin engines yet to date that we put in the air. Big problem was, it was bare white foam. We have to put a paint job on it. David went and searched the internet, found a gorgeous, iconic paint scheme. We're gonna be doing that today. Also, in the comments, a lot of you guys wanted to see really badly the one that we have available in the store for you to build. We heard you. Our good friend Jason McQuiston, he took some time out with his father. They finished off one, they painted it. We're gonna be doing a flight review on that today. Now also along with that, the main inspiration for this whole video, Building the Beach, was our good friend Matt Yonkins and the amazing air show that he puts on. Now one of the most iconic things that he does is he has an incredible smoke system. In this episode, we're going to be putting a smoke system on it, tracing some of those classic maneuvers, and also my youngest son Michael, he's going to be chasing with probably one of the biggest, fastest drones we've ever had a flight test that he's ever flown. We're going to be having a lot of fun with that, we got a lot of work to do, let's get to it. That was a lot of painting, but Yeah, yeah, we got all the painting done. Uh, we did it in here. Don't do that at home. It's not good to paint inside the house. Uh, we had fans and stuff set up, but it looks beautiful. We're gonna unmask it before the weekend gets here and see what it looks like. So it's safe to say with Maker Foam, you wanna prime it first. Yes, for sure. Um, if you don't prime it, um, it has a tendency of kind of fish eyeing and stuff. Yep. So scuff it up, prime it, and then paint it, yep. and you'll be all set. Yeah, red pads are the best. Uh, also, uh, I think this is a triple lot uh, steel wool. I, I, I prefer like the Scotch Bright pads. Yeah. Rather than steel wool myself. Yeah. And I think John uses he prefers steel wool. Right. Yeah. He's a real. It's basically super fun steel wool or red Scotch Bright. Yes. Dude. I still haven't done the accents yet. Dude, great work, man. Thank you. Gorgeous. Yeah, I, I can't wait to get this thing in the air. Wow. It looks great. It really does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if we ever get a beach craft to be out on the front, this should probably be a big consideration for a scheme, right? Yes. So currently, Stefan is out picking up a package that's going to be a huge surprise for my youngest son, Michael. If you guys don't know, my youngest son, Michael, is an amazing drone pilot. He's the person that's responsible for a lot of the epic aerial shots that you see in today's videos. But Michael also has a passion to not only do what he does here at Flight Test, but also to branch out and do it on a professional level for hire. Now because of that, our good friends at GetFPV have a really special surprise for him that he's going to be able to get his hands on, but also he's currently studying for his 107 because any time that you become a professional career pilot operating small UAS, you have to have a part 107. Now this is something that you guys can aspire to do as well. Now, Michael's been preparing for his 107 certification test by using Pilot Institute's 107 curriculum. Now something really special is going on here. We have both my good friend Lee Kackner and also Michael preparing for two different aspects of flight. Lee is preparing to get his private and Michael's preparing to get his 107. Both of these are done through Pilot Institute's curriculum. And if you guys want to follow along, we're going to be monitoring both Michael's progress and also Lee's progress as both of them pursue growing in flight. That's a big box. That box bigger than you, man. Yes, it is. 42 pounds is what the shipping label says. Is this what I think it is? This is what you think it is. This is a fun girl gift from our friends over at GetFPV. I, I think it's not a gift for us as much as it's a gift for that guy. Yeah, so <laughs> we've been talking a lot about stepping up our production game a little bit and GetFPV came in in a really cool way to help our buddy Michael Bixler here kind of up his game, up our game, and uh, well, let's open up and just kind of show you what we got in here. Stickers, got some batteries. So this thing. 5200 six inch. Wow. This is a big bat. To fly something super, oh, oh wow. wow. Oh, that Dude, that's that dope. <laughs> Here's the cool thing, it used to be being a professional drone pilot was something only a few aspire to. 
now thanks to what's going on in the industry, mm. um, this is a common job that people can get, whether it's for you know inspection work, but also for camera work, for movies, for commercials, real estate, things like that. This is getting a lot more common, and so I think at the Tech Channel we're going to do a review after he gets used to it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna kind of go out full in depth, like how it all came about, what is what you can all do with it, what are you gonna put on there, you know, how the construction works. Um, we're gonna let uh, everybody kind of know all all those different uh, pieces and points, which is it's beautiful. Cool. It's gonna be awesome, dude. Well, hey, congrats, Mikey. Yep, you got work to do. Oh, Have yeah. fun, buddy. <laughs> so, Dave, what are you doing? I am currently trying to figure out where we're going to put our smoke bombs on the beach, and we were just talking about it. I was going to put them up here, but in doing that, we're going to get a bunch of uh, smoke and stuff hitting the back of the wing here, and really don't feel comfortable with that. This has a beautiful paint job. Don't want to mess it up at all. So I think we're going to put them back here, and I think we're going to put them out more on the wings just so it uh, gives it more of a distinct two lines of smoke coming out of the back of the plane. I think it'll look the best. So I'm gonna get a glue gun and glue these on right there. So Dave has the Monster Beach 18 ready, but a lot of you guys in the comments the last time wanted to see the original fly. The good news is, is Jason and his dad down at manufacturing, they built one of John's designs. We're gonna go down there right now and get that, bring it out and fly. This is dad's brainchild here. <laughs> they almost have the same tail number. Oh my gosh, did, did you base yours off of a real one too? You know, I almost had five in there, but I didn't have enough fives to, to do both sides. So I went to the next number six. <laughs> so, so guys, if you're new to flight test here, this is Tom and this is his son, Jason. Both Tom and Jason, even his younger son, Andrew, uh, work at manufacturing here. And the cool thing is, is you don't just have people making the airplanes, you have pilots making the airplanes. Uh, Jason built this and you painted it? Uh, that, that was uh, John's. Yeah, and then I yeah I painted it, finished it up, and fixed it here and there, and then uh, painted it. It's beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead. You guys wanted to see how the stock one flew. We're gonna take this up. We're gonna get Mike some practice from air to air, and then we're gonna fly the big one. All right, so we're about to head out to uh, Readyboard Runway and fly this legit Beechcraft 18. Um, but also, I gotta get uh, a couple different cameras because today's a special day. We've actually got a heavy duty cine lifter drone that we got from our friends over at GetFPV. Um, and so we're actually gonna load it up with some of our Insta360 cameras um, because we don't, we don't use currently like a red camera or anything like that. So we've got two cameras we're gonna use today. The main one, which is our main chase camera um, that we use on all of our chase cam footage is the One RS. We also have the one inch 360 edition of the RS. And we're actually gonna be able to upload um, to our other Flight Test Live channel um, the entire VR 360 edition uh, video for you guys to view. So you can go on your phone, you can like move around, scroll around, see everything, which is pretty amazing. So I got, got that one. And then we also, um, obviously we've been using these all the time. Got a couple Insta360 Go 2s that we're gonna put on the actual Beechcraft itself. We can use those and they're not gonna affect the center of gravity. Just so you guys know, we've been working with Insta360 for a really long time now. They're fantastic partners of ours. So make sure you check out the link in the description below if you wanna grab one of these cameras. Uh, but if you wanna get some dope footage uh, with some really cool cameras, make sure you check out the link in the description. I'm gonna take these cameras to Noah so we can hopefully get ready to fly. So we have Jason that's gonna fly, his father's gonna launch, and then my son Michael, he's gonna be flying. What is this called? Uh, QAV Pro Lifter. It's huge. He's gonna be doing this first air to air with this here, and we're gonna see how this flies. You good, Mike? Yep. Alrighty. <laughs> How's it feel? Oh man, this is smooth. And we got a little bit of a choppier day today. It's typical Ohio winter weather and stuff. It's kind of nice to be able to see how planes perform in worse weather. But if you're ever gonna fly for the first time, pick a calm day. <laughs> oh, that looks fantastic. Yes, nice, real, real nice and smooth. <laughs> Look at that. Now this is an earlier model, right? Basically, John handed this over to you as one of the earlier prototypes? Yeah, yeah, basically it showed up, um, never been flown. It, it came covered in uh, blue painter's tape. <laughs> So we, we peeled it off. Um, basically, the equipment was already in it. So we're flying on the uh, on the B-Pack motor on yep. 4S. 
Uh, to, to get the aircraft to balance comfortably, we're running a 4,000 milliamp. Yeah. Which is a little bit heavy. I think our 3,700 would be just right. I agree with you. Yeah, these things balance beautifully. Uh, even the big monster uh, balances real well uh, with not too much battery up in the front. Because all those big end, because the two big motors are up in the front there. Yeah. I'm going to turn left and yep. come right down the chute here. So obviously you've been watching us, you guys know us for building a lot of monster airplanes, but we haven't left our original roots. Uh, we design airplanes both for the beginner, all the way up through John's master series that are meant for the advanced planes. And these are things that you guys can build here, whether it's getting in the hobby with a plane as little as three or four pieces, all the way up to these beautiful works of art that actually mold together. Building and flying your own airplane is an incredibly rewarding part of the hobby. And we have something in our store from beginners all the way up to advanced. And I think this is gonna be really popular. Oh yeah, yeah. This is half throttle, so it's just cruising. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. So next pass, we'll go, uh, we'll try our nail on a roll, what do you think? Yeah, sounds good. Uh, I call it an attention getter. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna reword my moves just another thing about the pucks uh -oh, uh -oh. oh, what happened? I don't know, I just lost power. It looks like you put it down on its, on its butt. Yeah, I pulled it back and lower throttle. Hopefully it's the cameras. Oh, like when it hit the ground, it went. <laughs> Durability test one. Hopefully one and only. So that's solid. Yeah, Dave screwed that on there pretty good, but it doesn't look like, yeah, none of that's broken. Looks good. I'm not sure about all the motors and stuff like that, but that looks, I mean, it looks fine. Solid, solid number one crash. All right. What happened? Did you, uh, lost power? Like in terms Let's of just like say, the when it hits around 21 volts, you want to land because you don't have much time after that. Because I call it 21. Right okay. over there. Yeah. How you doing on battery, Mike? I'm at 21.1, so I'm doing nice. pretty good. <clears throat> good to need know. need to land a little sooner than I'm used to, but I mean, I should have thought about that before. But <laughs> Looks solid, though. Testimony to how strong the build is, right? right. Solid quad. Well done, get FPV, Cinequads, well done. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, main of the stock one is done. Now you guys know how that flies. We're gonna go get the monster. It's awesome, love it. All right, so we've got everything set up on the Monster uh, Beach. So uh, yeah, we're ready to go, aren't oh we? Oh my gosh, yes. Now you actually installed two different uh, smoke bombs on this, right? Yes, yeah. Um, we went real simple on these. We just got to light fuses before you take off. You got to light fuses. <laughs> I like how you, yeah. made, you said you made one longer than the other so you can get around the other side. Yeah, yeah, and hopefully uh, they both go off at the same time then while we're in the air and uh, you have some fun with it. The goal is simple here. Uh, Matt Yonkins, he does the most incredible routine with smoke. We're basically gonna try to emulate that while the smoke's going. Mike's gonna be chasing with his new QAV Pro Lifter. We're gonna try to get some epic shots while we're doing some classic maneuvers that you would see with the uh, Matt Yonkins Beach. All right, so I'm gonna get this down here and let's get going. All right. All right, so Mike's up. He's lighting the fuses. One. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if I can make a circle before it pops. There's one. Did I put the other one out? It was lit when you started moving. Oh no. It looks great. It looks like we have one engine out. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Just just go real slow and I'll run out and run with Yeah, just run by. Oh, the fuse burnout. Oh, that's like. what it was. I got too eager. That's okay. It still looks cool. That was amazing, Josh. All right, Mike, I'm <laughs> going to do a slow roll, okay? Really slow roll. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful job. Awesome. All right, let's do another slow pass. We'll go into a, uh, a big old wing over here. All right, you ready for the, the wing over to the left? Yep. Wing over to the left. Here we go. Straight up. And over. <laughs> oh. we'll, we'll just go straight into a loop. Go three, two, one. There's, There's two. There's another one. 
<laughs> That's Definitely awesome! Bloober. Roll to the left. <laughs> so a lot of times people think big planes are harder to fly. It's more intimidating just because how big their presence is. But especially with these monster sized airplanes that are electric and foam board, the wing loading is light, they're docile. Oh, How's that? <laughs> Dodge big bird! I'm gonna do a touch and go. Oh, oh. man, got it right at the end. Oh. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put this down for a landing. That was epic. Yeah, that was awesome. I'm gonna walk up here in front of Moose just to. Alrighty. Guard it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Dave, awesome job on the build, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, it flew amazing. It looked great. It did. It did. This is probably one of the most iconic airplanes. I think we need to dream bigger, go for 20 foot on that. Let us know if you guys want to see that. We'll go a little bit bigger than this. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Like, maybe a couple inches. I don't want to go too big. A couple inches. And friends, I know this is a monster build here, but like we said and like you saw earlier, you can build a smaller Master Series size. It's still big. It's still rewarding. Incredibly easy to build. Easy to fly. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Next time. Yeah.